you, you've spent uh, most of your life on stage, or you know, <laughs> since you're early, uh, since an early age, you've been on stage. What what is the what, what do you enjoy about the differences between uh, being on stage and being in front of a camera? I mean, it's quite different. Um, you know, you go to school for acting and you learn sort of how to act for the stage and you're given all the technique, um, which is a lot. And you use all of that. That's your toolbox. So it's sort of your, your training, your basis, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you feed off the audience and you never know what you're going to get. So every night is completely different. Some, sometimes a line will just land and people will laugh and laugh and laugh. And then you have no idea why the next five nights it just doesn't at all. So you feed off of that energy and you know, the, the butterflies that you get, the anxiety that might come up, you use in the performance. Um, and you have to make strong choices and all of that. You have to carry, you know, your voice has to carry and all of that. When you're on camera, you know, sometimes you can be this close, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to bring it down. So you have to learn how to keep all those choices and all the little things that you've made and bring them down. So it's just a skill like anything else. It's practice. Everything's practice. Yeah, you can usually spot somebody in film that is trained in theater and or at least, you know, the ones that haven't been told, you know, dial it back. You're not performing for the back row. Right. You know? um, right. Right. But, you know, listen, put it all out there. And the director has no qualms about saying, can you pull it back? You, know, yeah. you just have to learn how to do that. You have to be open to being able to do that. It's a skill. I think we've all seen that it's easier to tell somebody to dial it back than then try to bring it out of them and try to just and then it's not real anymore. It's not it's not 100 percent. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Unless you're Jim Carrey, then there's no well, there's no rules for Jim or James. Call him James. Call him James. Damn it. <laughs>